Hello and welcome to this overview of Simplicity Sync Drive. In this overview, we will show you what the value is of Simplicity Sync Drive and how to use it. First of all, you will not have any much more files on your PC than required. There's no burden on your local disk space. You can avoid having to sync large Simplicity folders on your computer. That also is for many users who are currently carrying a laptop with an SSD drive, which is not terabytes big. You can avoid having to sync all those folders down before you can access a file in a Simplicity folder. In that sense, it is also a very good solution for virtual desktops and users who are using a terminal session to access their desktops. Some other customers say, well, I have a lot of folders on my computer that are actually I don't really need them anymore local, but I also don't, don't want to delete them. And in the past, you could say, I'm going to stop syncing a folder, which means you're breaking the sync between the cloud and your desktop. But then if you wanted to have one file, you either had to use the browser or you had to resync that folder back down to your computer. With Sync Drive, that is not required because when you promote a folder to a Sync Drive folder, you can still access all the files in there and only the files that you really need, the files that you open, are actually being synced to your computer. And this actually is also a very cool solution for customers who say, we want to migrate our network shares into Simplicity because with Simplicity, they now have access to all this information from a laptop, from a computer, but they don't need to have a VPN access to in order to access those files. And now you have a network share that you can also work with when you're offline. For example, when you're in the field, you need a, you need a file that you accessed before, you marked as a favorite, you can access the files and the folders offline. So let me tell you a little bit about what is Simplicity and what is Sync Drive. As you can see in Simplicity, any folder on your desktop can be synced. In this case, the desktop of Mr. Bob Sync, his computer, has been synced. And also the My Documents folder has been synced by Simplicity. This actually means that any folder on your computer can be synced. So what is this Simplicity folder then? The Simplicity folder is just a folder, a default folder, where Simplicity suggests to place folders that you receive from other people. So just in case that someone like Peter shared a folder with Bob, Bob will get that notification. Bob can just store that folder inside usual Simplicity folder. Just click Sync Now and we see that the folder project X is now going to be synced inside the Simplicity folder. But in Simplicity, you can add any folder to Simplicity. So because Bob Sync stores all his projects in the folder My Projects, he has added the Project A folder into Simplicity. And he can then decide to share this folder with others. So far, nothing new, but what if this folder is pretty big? In this case, it's 1.4 gigabyte, which means if Bob shares this folder with other people, they also need to sync down this folder. Now, 1.4 gigabyte is maybe not too much, but it still contains some data that not everyone needs. So for example, because this folder, Project A, contains both large videos, as it contains some financial reports, people who are only interested in the reports need to sync down the entire 1.4 gigabyte in order to access that particular Excel sheet of nine kilobytes. So how can we make this folder less burdened on the hard disk? Very simple. You can migrate this folder into a Sync Drive folder. And this is the next icon in my Windows Explorer. With Sync Drive, only the data that you really need is going to be synchronized to your desktop. So take, for example, this Simplicity folder called Finance. When I go to the folder Reports, which is represented with a cloud icon, you see that all the reports in here also have this cloud icon. When I open one of these documents, let's say I'm opening the report for February, 
then you see that this report at that moment is being downloaded. And that means the moment that it's downloaded, it is in my cache, a local cache. And the next time I open this file again, it will be opened directly from the cache. So the question is, how do I get this folder, project A, available as a sync drive folder? As a user, you can convert any folder, any usual regular Simplicity folder into a sync drive folder. And you can do that with all the folders that you own yourself. So if I go to the browser-based user interface of Simplicity, you will see project A as a regular Simplicity folder and it has been shared with other people. I, as Mr. Bob Sync, I've shared this folder with the group consultants and I also shared this with a user called Peter Sync and Peter has editor rights. In order to convert this folder now into a Sync drive folder, I right mouse click on the folder, click settings, and I'm going to promote this folder now from a regular Simplicity folder into a Sync drive folder, which actually means the only possible way to access the information from now on is by accessing it via Sync drive. By promoting this folder into a Sync drive folder, a user no longer has the option to sync down this folder to his desktop. Therefore, I also get a warning saying that all participants of this folder will be affected by this change. This folder will now only be available in Sync drive and you can no longer sync it down. I'm gonna comply with this warning and I'm gonna change it as a Sync drive folder. As a user, in the browser, I don't see any difference. The folder is still there and it is still shared with the same people. If I have a personal folder, like for example, this folder product brochures, I can also convert any folder, as long as you own it, you can convert that folder into a sync drive folder. And from that moment, this folder is now also available as a sync drive folder. When I go back to my computer, I see that this folder is still there, but now it is available only as a read-only folder. Instead, the folder is now available here as a sync drive folder. And now when I, as a user, want to access information here, like the reports from the current year, I only need to open them in order to get them downloaded to my desktop. The folder will now have a green check mark. So if I now open it again, it will be opened from a local cache. So how about video files? Video files have the same problem. They are big and it takes a long time to sync them. So if I take, for example, a very small video, it will immediately open and while Simplicity in the background is syncing, you can already start playing the video. That's fine for a small video, but what about a bigger one? So while you'll see that Simplicity is syncing down the video, you can already start playing it. But it still has the same problem. I need to open my video first before I can play it on my device. I need to have the video cached in order to play it. So what if I'm offline? Let's say I want a certain video file offline available, then I just add it to my favorites and Simplicity will now always pre-cache that video. And I can do exactly the same with, for example, other files like the reports, the financial reports for this year. I'm going to add these also to my favorites. You see that Simplicity will sync down all the files in that folder all files and subfolders in that folder will be synced. So when I have no internet access, and I can simulate that by disabling the network adapter, you see that Simplicity also notices that it's offline, no internet connection. But still, files that I've accessed before, or files that are in my favorites, they can easily be accessed and I can work on these documents even offline. The moment that I save the file, the file will be saved on my computer in my local cache and it will wait to get synced up back to the cloud. 
And for example, this video that I accessed offline, very easily still play it. And also any other folder that I've accessed before is now available offline. When the connection is restored, we see that Simplicity immediately starts uploading the files that I modified offline. And when this has done successfully, it will just mark the folder with a green check mark. And we see that the folder and all the files in it have successfully synchronized. There are, however, some gotchas with SyncDrive. First of all, you cannot create any folder here. If you try to do that, you will get a warning say that this is not possible. In order to create a folder here, you will need to convert or promote an existing Simplicity folder. So let's say I have a new folder project D. I can convert this into a SyncDrive folder by clicking settings and convert it into a SyncDrive folder. And from that moment we see Project D appearing here as another SyncDrive folder. You can also only convert your own folders. So this is a folder that someone else has shared with me. I cannot convert this one into a SyncDrive folder. Only the owner can do this. Another item is the local cache. How much cache do I have? In your storage settings, you can see how much cache has been configured for a sync drive. You can change that, but an administrator can also enforce a certain size of this cache. If you see that the cache is growing, you can also clear the cache, or you can clear the sync drive favorites. That also gives you the ability to clean up some cache if, if that is needed. So as a summary of today's video, I've showed you how you can access information that lives in Simplicity without the need to sync it down to your computer. That means you can avoid large Simplicity folders to be synced on your computer and keep them somewhere in the cloud, which is ideal for people who are carrying a laptop with a small SSD drive. And therefore it's also an ideal solution for virtual desktops and terminal servers because not everything needs to be in that magical folder and you don't need to sync down that magical folder to your computer. It also is a good solution to archive the data. If there is a project that I don't need anymore on my desktop, I can simply convert or promote it into a sync drive folder. With that, I always keep access to it. I can still browse to it, but I don't need to sync it down before I can access the files. And for many customers, this is an ideal solution to replace traditional network shares with a cloud solution that offers me access to my information from any device at any time without the requirement of a VPN access. If there are any questions, feel free to, uh, to send them in my comments. Or send an email to sales-csm at Thank you. Bye-bye.